This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. Now, on a Tuesday at the moment, what I'm doing is putting out a video where I'm talking about uh, five of my favourite examples of the recorded tone of a particular make and model of the guitar. So far, we've done the Stratocaster, uh, last week we did uh, the Les Paul, and this week, guess what we're doing indeed. Today we're going to be talking about five of my favourite uh, instances or examples of the recorded sound of Leo Fender's, I think, masterpiece, the Telecaster, beginning with... Sweet Dreams, Roy Buchanan. Yeah, I mean, how could this track not be on the list, frankly? Um, what can you say about Sweet Dreams? It's hotter than that little bit of a pop tart that sticks to your bottom lip um, it's beefier than a mug of bovril if anybody else still drinks that and it's sweeter than a crunchy bar dipped into a vat of treacle it's not just a great telecaster tone this is just a great electric guitar tone um, it's just an example of you know the magnificent sound that an electric guitar can make. Um, I, I love this this track. I love the sound. I love the performance. I love everything about it. And, you know, would this tune have sounded the same played on any other guitar? Frankly, no. This is just a, a perfect, perfect example. As perfect as you can imagine uh, example of what a Telecaster should sound like, which is why it's on this list. Next. Best Friends Girl, Elliot Easton. The cars. Yeah, now this is, um, you know, I, I just don't think you'll ever find a better example of the uh, that middle position uh, switch setting on a Telecaster, really. It's just the, a definitive sound of what that particular um, pickup combination on a Telecaster should sound like. Um, it, it's just that perfect country, rockabilly, clean tone. You know, just a little bit of delay, I think, and compression that's on there. And, you know, that, those chicken picking licks just start, um, just got, start kind of tumbling out of your fingers. A friend of mine once asked me, you know, because he's not a guitar player, he said, you know, what's so why? Why do you need this guitar then? And what, why do you need that many? All these different guitars, this one and that one, and, and all. I said, well, you know, think about how they sound. And I went on to describe, you know, how a Les Paul sound. Well, just think of Thin Lizzy or Gary Moore. Think of um, a Strat. Think of um, you know Mark Knopfler or Hank Marvin. And the example I used for the Telecaster was this track because I think it's just pretty much a definitive Telecaster sound. You would struggle to find a better example, as I say, of that neck and bridge pickup, um, both pickups on at the same time, Telecaster tone. It's just, you know, definitive, which is why it's on this list. Next. Darlington County, Bruce Springsteen. Yes, indeed. Now in about 1984, when um, I discovered Bruce Springsteen because of this album, you know, I was aware of the name, uh, you know, the, uh, Bruce Springsteen, but there was this big brouhaha about uh, his new album, Born in the USA. So I did what you did in those days. You just went out and uh, took a chance and bought the album. And... Um, yeah, the first track, I thought, that's okay, you know, and then uh, you, you hit Cover Me, and yeah, that's pretty good, and then Darlington County comes in, and just that characteristic bridge pickup sound on a Telecaster, again, if you want the definitive example of how that particular guitar tone is meant to sound, if there was such a thing as a dictionary of different guitar tones, that would be in there, I think, for the... Um, for the bridge pickup sound on a Telecaster. It's as hard as nails. It's the perfect rock and roll guitar sound for my, um, for my opinion. And it's just, it's just the perfect sound for that sort of rootsy, um, you know, kind of country rock swagger. It's just a fantastic guitar tone. Again, a definitive version of how that particular pickup position on a Telecaster should sound, which is why it's on this list. Next. Crazy little thing called love. Brian May. 
Again, if we're talking about archetypal um, Telecaster sounds, um, something that just encapsulates what that particular uh, pickup setting is supposed to sound like, then you would have to go a long way to beat Brian May's solo on this track. Uh, it's bright and warm at the same time. It's the perfect rockabilly 50s retro sound. And it just really enhances the fluency of Brian's playing on this track. Not just the solo, but those little kind of twiddly lead licks that he puts in in between the vocals uh, throughout the song. It frankly is my benchmark sound for what the, the neck pickup on a Telecaster should sound like. Um, once again, you'll struggle to find a better version of um, you know the, the neck pickup up on a telecaster certainly in you know recorded output whether or not you like the uh, you know the, the the solo or the song or even the band of queen you can't deny that um this is you know pretty definitive of how that particular pickup setting on this particular guitar uh, needs to sound so there you go that's why it's on the list next elmira street boogie Danny Gatton. Indeed, the late and uh, lamented Danny Gatton. What a player he was. And, um, you know, I still... How, how long is it since he left us? It still feels like a shock every time I listen to this particular track or that whole album uh, that it came from. Uh, 91 it came out, 88 Elmira Street. The whole album is just so full of, of joy that it's it's difficult to imagine that the guy responsible for it was um you know suffering with demons that he was really um but on this track Ab Danny absolutely tears it up with this up tempo rockabilly boogie he's what i love about this particular track as well actually is that there are you know little kind of tips of the hat and, and and nods to other great solos if you listen carefully you'll hear um part of the solo from bill haley's rock around the clock you'll also hear little snippets of smokestack lightning in there it's just in terms of the tone though it's just sizzling hot telecaster tones virtuoso playing what a f fantastic sound he gets again you know you can't imagine this track being played on a les paul or a strat or a 335 or anything like that it has to be a telecaster the telecaster sound is an essential part of what makes this track you know actually you know be as, as good as it is you you it just wouldn't be the same with any other uh, make or model of guitar. And again, we're talking about great examples of the Telecaster tone here, and I don't think you'll find a better one than this, which again is why it's on this list. So there you go, folks. There are five examples of my favourite Telecaster tones. Ask me again next week, and it might be a lot different because I do like the sound of a Telecaster, so I could easily pick another five. But this week, those are my favourites, and um, if you're not familiar with any of them, um, I'm sure that most of them you are but if there's one or two in there that you're not uh, particularly au fait with then check out the links in the description and you can hear all of these tracks down there also down there you'll find all the links to support the channel Patreon courses um, you can even uh treat your nearest and dearest to some of my wonderfully talented wifey's handmade genuine gemstone jewellery if you so wish her eBay shop her Etsy shop rather is uh, down in the description there as well so check it out and uh, thank you in advance if you're thinking about doing it and thank you if you are already are doing it but for now I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching thank you for your time look after yourselves folks stay well stay safe and above all stay sane bye for now <laughs>